War on the region ahead of the big election in Taiwan tomorrow. Eunice. Thanks, Mike. Well, the December data uh, showed persistent deflation for a third straight month. On a year basis, consumer prices were the slowest since 2009. Factory gate prices hit the steepest downturn since 2015. Now, demand was weak. Uh, domestically, but also not a whole lot better overseas. The export figures in dollar terms uh, perked up in December, but for the year, this is their first annual drop since 2016. Imports also clocked their first annual decline since 2020 when the coronavirus first emerged from China. Now, the focus today, though, was also on the elections that are taking place in Taiwan. Over the weekend on Saturday, uh, Taiwan is going to go to the polls to choose their next president, and the outcome of that election is sure to shape the relationship between Taiwan and China over the the next couple of years. Uh, the front runner is uh, William Qingde Lai. He's the current VP and also Beijing's uh, least favorite candidate. Uh, uh, Beijing believes that Lai is in favor of declaring independence, which is the reddest of the red lines for the Communist Party leaders, uh, which believe that uh, Taiwan is part of China. The other key candidate is Ho Yo Yi of the opposition KMT, and Beijing perceives him to be more in favor of the status quo. So um, Beijing has already indicated that if Lai wins, they are going to take a more hostile stance. So for investors, that means that if we do see uh, what is expected, which is Lai to win, then um, there is going to be uh, likely much more um, insecurity within the region, also in supply chains more specifically. And then um, if there is an upset, however, it could potentially mean that Beijing would be willing to engage in discussions more constructively with a government under Ho. Guys? Meantime, Eunice, what is it, uh, how do you expect it to, to affect the, some of the military activity uh, that we've seen in the waters uh, between the two countries, uh, and military drills, and also their stance regarding the United States? We did take note today that uh, Secretary Blinken is meeting with some senior Chinese yeah. officials today in advance of the weekend. Yep, yeah, right. And that is actually seen as uh, one tactic by the Chinese to try to uh, stabilize the relationship between the U.S. and China, which they are very much in favor of doing at this point, at least optically, uh, to try to move that relationship forward. Uh, but when it comes to the military intimidation, um, we've already seen a lot of that um, in the past several days. Uh, this is a very typical thing um, that the Chinese uh, do uh, and th that they have done ahead of elections. And in fact, the defense Defense Ministry today um, had also said that uh, they would smash any um, uh, movements of, of independence for uh, Taiwan. So um, likely what we would see um, if Lai does indeed uh, a win, that there would be a ratcheting up. Um, of, uh, of uh, military intimidation. Um, one other um, thing that we could see potentially is that if he wins, um, that uh, the, the Chinese government would freeze him out, um, as they have his predecessor, the current president, uh, Tsai Ing-wen. Carl? Uh, big weekend. Uh, Eunice, we'll watch it closely and, of course, take stock of it when we return to trading on Tuesday. Uh, Eunice Yoon, thank you.